Opponents of Issue 2 say a high voter turnout gives them the best chance to restore collective bargaining rights to thousands of police, firefighters, teachers, and public employees. Now, I just got off the phone with the director of the Montgomery County Board of Elections, and he tells me 250 people showed up to cast their vote today. That's much higher than in the past and possibly an indication about what we may see over the next 34 days. It started out as a rally and ended more like a sermon. Former state senator Tom Roberts at the podium preaching about the importance of heading to the polls. Our nation is at risk because of this law and the voter suppression law we stopped. Good job, good job. November 2012, we're ready for this vote. We're going to get ready because we cannot be complacent. In the audience, community leaders, public employees, and concerned citizens like Tom Applegate. I'm definitely issue number two. During the rally, the crowd applauded and showed their support for the repeal of the controversial collective bargaining law, formerly known as Senate Bill 5. I think that's very, very important uh, that they have their fair say and are able to uh, uh, have bargaining rights and that kind of thing. All is going to be determined in the next 34 days. And it's up to each and every one of us to play our role. The group gathered at the RTA Cultural Center in Dayton and marched across the 2nd Street Bridge to the Board of Elections, where early voting is underway despite House Bill 194. 194 limits the number of days and hours for early voting. Your signature, you print your first name. Mm -hmm. But after thousands of people signed petitions, 194 won't go on the ballot until November 2012. Now, there is one notable change this election. If you're waiting for an absentee ballot or request form to show up in your mailbox from the Board of Elections, that's not going to happen. You will need to request one. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.